As you know, we give away hats to people whose questions we read on the air and try to answer. Today's comes from PV Shooter 1217 who asks, what happens when you slip a 20 gauge shell in a 12 gauge gun? Will it slide on through or will it stick? And if you do shoot it, will it blow up or will the 12 gauge shell just push it on out? Well, I can show you. 20 gauge shell and a 12 gauge barrel. Doesn't really sound like it passed on through, does it? In fact, what happens is it goes down far enough just past the forcing cone where it sticks. And you put a 12 gauge shell in on top of it. When you have an obstruction like that, it won't push the 20 gauge shell on out, it will blow up. And I can show you because I've got a barrel here that's proof of exactly that. Um, actually in this case, all that stuck in the gun was a wad from a bad reload. Uh, the man was shooting at a pheasant, he had a, he had a bad shell, the wad lodged here, he shot again and it blew up the barrel. Uh, fortunately, he wasn't hurt, um, but that is the answer. No, the shell won't go through, the barrel blows up. Uh, interestingly, there's another one, another curiosity here. It is sometimes possible to put a 20 gauge shell in a 12 gauge gun, and if you hold it up in the air, and don't try this at home, it might go off. That's what happened with this shell. Again, nobody was hurt but you don't want to be doing that. So yes, you should keep your 12 and 20 gauge shells separate. PV Shooter 1217, thank you for your question. Here's your hat.